Hi everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and I'm here with a summertime themed project using Brambleberry's brand new, well, fragrance of the summer, pink strawberry. It's such a yummy fragrance. It smells a lot like, well, pink strawberries. Got a little bit of kiwi in there. Also smells a little bit to me like, like the strawberry starburst. It's delicious fresh, juicy, mouth-watering. And we came up with this really fun strawberry design using the Brambleberry Heart and Bad Mold. So, and this, I know it looks like soap frosting, it's not. We just use some really thick soap and kind of pile it in. So if you're ready to get started and make this project, follow along. First things first, we do need to make that strawberry embed mold. I recommend giving it probably two days ahead of time. You can probably get away with just a day if you use sodium lactate, but it's better to be safe and give yourself two days. We are going to be using our mica color straight into our oils just to save a little bit of time because we can just disperse it right in there. And we're gonna do about two teaspoons of this color, not heaping teaspoons, just regular. This is a half teaspoon. So you'll see me do this a couple times. We're going for a nice bright color. And then some poppy seeds after we get to the trace. And now I got need to get my goggles on because we got to suit up for safety totally. Kids and pets are in the other room. I'm working in a well-ventilated area and I have long sleeve and long pants on. So my color's nicely dispersed and now I'm gonna add my lye water. And this lye water does have sodium lactate in there, which is a totally optional ingredient, but it will allow you to unmold more quickly. And my fragrance is already weighed out. This is the Lots of Lather Quick Mix. So it's got just a little bit more coconut oil in there, so it might harden up a little bit quicker for us. We're kind of going for a kind of pretty thick trace. We want our poppy seeds to be able to suspend. And then of course, the thicker the trace, the faster this will pop out of the molds. Just added my pink strawberry fragrance oil. We're just gonna stick blend that in. It does accelerate trace just the tiniest of bits, but nothing too concerning. So I am able to stick blend that in. So here we have our silicone embed mold. It's, I've made sure all the channels are fully engaged. We have it in here, so it's just kind of propped up really nice. I'm gonna add just about a tablespoon of these poppy seeds. So, and then we'll just whisk them in, make sure they're the look we want, get them all the way to the bottom, it's perfect. Mm, I love this smell. It is so fresh and juicy and ripe. It definitely, mm, it's definitely giving me serious ripe strawberry vibes. I think the crispness and the tartness of the kiwi really helps to prop up that brightness that you would expect from this. We're short pouring this just a little bit because this column mold is longer than the silicone mold we're gonna be using. So that's why it doesn't go all the way to the top. So keep that in mind because we wanna make sure that we don't waste any soap if we don't need to. And now set this to the side, give it a couple days, get ready to unmold and get ready for part two of this project. All right, and now we're gonna unmold. And when you unmold, you just kind of peel gently away and make sure that when you're peeling that you're not tearing the soap. And so think slow and steady and be patient. If you start to see peeling or you see tearing, you can always stop and give it another couple of days. Okay, so now what we need to do is trim this down to size and make sure it's gonna fit. And actually I can see right now it's gonna fit pretty perfectly. So being very gentle because it's a soft, fresh soap. So this one's gonna fit in just fine. So I don't have to clean this up from a width standpoint, but I just wanna clean up around the edges, make sure that we don't have any any unsightly lines or anything here is really where we've got the cleanup to do. And you can use really anything you want. This is a cleanup tool that is commonly used in clay or interestingly enough, sometimes dental work. But we're just cleaning it up so we get that really crisp line since this ends up being our strawberry in our batch of soap. 
Now that we are fully unmolded with our strawberry and we've made sure it fits into our mold, it's time to make the basic uh, base batch. So we're gonna suit up for safety again. Got the fragrance already measured out. We have our lye water already prepped and there's sodium lactate in there. Colors, remember, have been mixed in a little bit of oil already to get rid of any clumps. And children and pets are in another room, well-ventilated area, ready to get started. So we've got our lots of leather quick mix in here. Just gonna add my lye water slowly into the oils and give it a good stick blend. And now I'm just gonna pull out a little bit because remember we need that green for the top of the strawberry. So I'm just gonna pull out just a couple, like uh, 200 milliliters, not that much. And leave that over here. And that leaves me with just about yeah, 900 milliliters left. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this, uh, do it evenly over here. So we have about equal amounts of white and equal amounts of blue. And now what you see is what you get. We're gonna work with our white and our blue to get some really nice contrast that is kind of like pillowy and cloudy almost. I'm gonna hand stir this in and then I'm gonna add my fragrance. And a lot less blue than that because we're just gonna, remember you can add more, can't take it out. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more blue for just a little bit more contrast. I'm just gonna stick blend this before I hand stir in my fragrance. <laughs> Looks like some good contrast. Then we're just gonna do a regular in the pot swirl once we have our fragrance in. And so that's a pretty simple design, but it is really pretty. And again, it kind of gives the idea of billowy clouds. And the pink strawberry accelerates trace just a teensy bit, nothing major as you can see. So it does react and perform really well for swirls. I'm gonna let this sit because I do need it to be just a little bit thicker in order to suspend my, my, my berry shape. And so I'm, we're gonna work with our green oxide because that green oxide really does have to be quite thick in order to mound up and make into the little strawberry stem. So this is the green iron oxide. It makes for one very bright color. So a little goes a long way. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stick blend that a little bit too. Give it just a little bit of thickness right off the bat. With the green, we are really mounding it up. So thick is okay in this, in this case. So now I'm gonna put this green to the side. I'm gonna bring my mold over, make sure we're ready to go. And this is still really thin. I'm just gonna, see if I pour it right now, it is what's gonna happen is this guy will just kind of sink to the bottom and flop. We want it to be just a little thicker. Woo! I'm doing an in the pot swirl. So I'll be pouring at the 12, three, six, and nine positions. And then once I have those poured, then I'll just give it a really quick swirl in the mold and with, there we go. So I'm gonna go with this side of the spatula and I just like to do a little figure eight, get that swirl started. And now you just pour into the mold in kind of a varying pattern and varying depths and heights. And then I'm gonna place our pre-cut. Wee, ha. Okay, whew. It's 
going to go to the bottom, but notice how it's being really nicely supported. Now we're just going to spoon in our green and just fill that in. This is a process of layering and you'll notice how well the soap is behaving. It is just really doing well for us. And we'll be able to keep manipulating this, but right now what we're going for is a little bit of a kind of a peak because we're going to get the blue and white in on the sides after this because remember we're going for that strawberry top the beautiful green foliage is it foliage if it's at the top of a strawberry the beautiful green stem at the top of a strawberry and now it's just time to essentially mound so I'm using a spoon so I have just a little bit more control now the Swirl is still there because we did an in the pot swirl. And I'm going to do even on all the sides. And then we'll start building up and getting in. So we're getting closer and closer to that green. Okay, so now it's time to kind of start filling this in and making it look a little bit more like this, how it comes in on the sides. So we're just going to move that in. So everything's coming in and now we can start building up our green even more now that the blue is in on the sides. So we're going for that stocky stem on the top of a strawberry and there we go and then once you're done you can spray with 99 degree 99 percent rubbing alcohol to try and prevent any soda ash uh, you can put this onto a heat pad to also prevent soda ash and then you let it sit in the mold for about one to three days before you try and pull it out and if you use sodium lactate, it'll pull out a little bit easier and faster. And if you didn't, just give it a few extra days. This batch was made three days ago, well, three and a half days ago. It had sodium lactate, still just a little bit soft, but it's coming out just fine. And I'm gonna carefully flop it over. With this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use our Brambleberry Multi-Bar Cutter. It is strung with basically piano wire and you just press gently down. Usually I'd be facing kind of the other direction, but I wanted you to see the mechanism for how it worked. You hear that snap and then you just pick your bars up and they are cut perfectly to the perfect kind of size and shape and they're really even. So if you're selling your soap, this is a really good option for you to make sure you have even bars each and every time. So these soaps are ready to use or give away in about four to six weeks. They do need a little bit of drying time and a little bit of curing time to ensure maximum length of time in the shower that they, get, that they can be used and of course, optimal conditioning and moisturizing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hashtag your projects, including this one for sure. Hashtag Bramble on so we can see what you're making. And until next time, happy soaping.